Hi, my name is Jeremy. I'm speaking to you from Seoul, South Korea. I'm an American living abroad. I've been living abroad for, uh, I've been living here in Korea for the last 10 years. I've lived in Europe. I've lived in the Middle East as well. Um, and I kind of have, I think, a unique perspective by being an American and also a conservative who lives, lives and works abroad. I don't work for an American company. I work for a Korean organization. So I kind of live as a foreigner. I, my, my daily life and my, my colleagues, you know, are pretty much all Koreans. Um, so I didn't vote for Trump in 2016. I was, I was shocked that he won the primaries and I, I couldn't see how people who were actually conservatives could support somebody like that. 2016 was a terrible time for me because I just saw analyst after analyst after a commentator who I had long respected. They just fell like dominoes in front of this force called Trump. And there was nobody there saying, hey, he's not a conservative. Why are we supporting this man who has only one value and that's his own good, his own bottom line, his own personal well-being? That's the only thing he cares about. How can we possibly you know, support somebody like that. He's not a conservative. He loves himself. He does not love the United States of America, despite all of his claims to the contrary. Um, but so it was just, a, it was a terrible time for me seeing all these people that I admired basically giving up their, their principles. Uh, so I found myself voting for Evan McMullen in 2016. He's not, a, he wasn't a viable candidate then. He's not a viable candidate now in 2020. Uh, but I couldn't bring myself to damage my own sense of what conservatism is by voting for somebody like Trump. And I find myself in 2020 in pretty much the same position. Um, I'm waiting for the two major parties to realize that there's a vast middle of America that is really upset with the divisiveness of American politics and the, the, this, the scorched earth politics that has characterized our national conversation is not helpful. And um, Donald Trump plays into that. Um, I don't think he's the source of that. I think he's more a symptom rather than the cause. But another four years with the gloves off would be permanently damaging to America's reputation abroad. As somebody who lives abroad, I'm used to seeing other people come to me and saying thank you for, you know, we want to thank you for what America has done for our country. I had this in Europe. I even had this among uh, refugees from Middle Eastern countries who I played soccer with on the beaches in Portsmouth, England one time saying, you know, of course America has done a lot of harm in the Middle East, but we thank you because America stood up for principles that benefited my family. And so we're very, we're very grateful to what America stands for. Yeah, that, that doesn't happen anymore. It just doesn't. As an American living abroad, I have to say my, my number one reaction is caution to let anybody know I'm an American because Donald Trump has so severely damaged America's credibility and America's authority to speak to matters abroad that there's just no, there's no, there's nothing comfortable now being an American living abroad. It's, it's, it, I have to walk around with a tremendous amount of humility and shame. Um, that's not the America, that's not, that wasn't the experience that I had living as an American abroad before 2016. It just wasn't. It, um, there wasn't so much shame associated with being an American. There was, you know, Americans are, we have our problems. Um, but, shame wasn't the primary place, wasn't the primary place where you went. So there we are. I cannot support Donald Trump. I don't know how people can claim to be conservative and yet still continue to support him because he's the antithesis in a lot of ways of true conservatism. So um, please protect your nation. If you say that you love America, um, then do whatever you can to prevent Donald Trump from having another four years unfettered. That would be a truly, truly dark day for our country.